these three men, all brothers, who are alleged to have kidnapped Woods from her Hardy County home. Woods, who was 16 and underage, was pregnant with his child. Jermaine Brown, a half-brother, pled guilty to accessory after the fact to murder. Big finish! <laughs> <laughs> How was school today? Fine. I can take that. <laughs> Hannah, I'm so glad you could make it. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what to say. You deserve a real thank you. <gasps> What's going on? No, just, no, I want no. to see my wife! No, hold on! Eleanor! We spoke to Mr. Garrett, and he says that the necklace went missing. Stolen is the word he used. He gave it to me. That's your raincoat. Covered in Eleanor's blood. Hannah Baxter, you're under arrest for the murder of Eleanor Williams. Mom, I you didn't do right this. It wasn't attorney. me. You know that, right? I'm being set up. My life is already over. You know your mother would still be alive, but the two of you couldn't stop asking questions. Jalen Smith is charged with murder. They connected him to the death of 21-year-old Megan Schwab. Stan Cochran had an AK-47 fatally shooting 19-year-old Skylar Owen. The convicted killer made a profane outburst and was hauled away moments after he was sentenced. Roderick Patterson got life in prison for murdering Eric Forrester, a high school honor student who was shot and killed when he interrupted a burglary in his home. Javier Bolden will spend two consecutive life terms in prison without the possibility of parole for killing Wu Ying and Ming Chu, two USC grad students from China, gunned down in their car a month before they were to graduate. Bolden and his accomplice Brian Barnes had teamed up, shooting him and others at a party weeks before they set out to rob USC students.